Hi Facebook, Jeremy Otto of Auto Percussion Studio here to help you help your student get more out of their music lessons. Those of you that know me know that I can play a handful of instruments other than percussion and that I can play them pretty well. The one that I'm probably the best at outside of percussion is guitar. Now, I learned guitar using a secret practice method. A method so secret that I didn't even realize I was doing it, and when I did, I transferred to percussion and my practice time instantly went up. I am here to share that secret with you. Are you ready? Here it is. Leave your instrument out. That's it. Make it easy to get to. When I was growing up, my mom's guitar sat on a stand in the living room, and I would pick it up when I was watching TV. A commercial would come on and I'd have a guitar in my hand and I'd start playing. It'd be at least a minute back into whatever show I was watching before my attention went back, and I'd be noodling around haphazardly until the next commercial. Is this the best practice I ever put in? No, of course not, but it was certainly more time with an instrument in my hand, and it added up to something. Eventually, I convinced my parents that my practice pad belonged on the coffee table. Now, I know that kids don't watch TV in the same way as we did growing up, but encouraging them to have their instrument out in whatever situation might take that role, whether it be putting it next to the video game console or next to the computer they watch YouTube on, would work great. For my daughter, the answer was putting up a wall hook for her cello. She practices so much more often by the fact that the instrument is out and she sees it. And as my wife points out as well, if you have other little ones in the house, when one of them is playing their instrument, they all want to play their instrument or each other's instruments, which is great because everyone is playing. So the takeaway for today is one, encourage the instrument to come out of the case. And two, if at all possible, let it live in the place your student hangs out in. This will increase not only the total practice time, but also will encourage them to explore and bond with their instrument. Thanks for watching. Maybe leave a comment if you've got an interesting place that you're gonna end up leaving your student's instrument where they're gonna see it more often. Or of course, we can talk about it in lessons. If you haven't already, please like the page and maybe share this video with someone who might find it helpful. Thanks again. Let's hit it.